Alrighty, so I'm going to show you how to add a RuneScape profile to your G600. It's a little bit complicated, and it took me about two hours yesterday to figure this out. I figured that since a couple of my uh, client members have officially gotten this mouse, it would be helpful for me to show them so that they can get the hotkeys down and the keybinds and whatever. So, here's what we're going to do. Okay, first thing first, open up RuneScape. While this is loading, hit that gear. Boom. It doesn't matter what happens in the background, this is all we need. So, specifically, the cache folder. So we're going to copy this. Well, maybe copy it. There we go. All right, and then we're going to go down here to just any, you know, file explorer section. So it can be desktop, it can be downloads. For this one, let's use downloads since I know it's pretty much empty. For me, I'm going to paste the address that I just got up there, and it's going to say launcher. We're going to go there, RS2 uh, client, that is what we're looking for. So we go up here, we copy that again, control C, and we're done with that part actually. So now we can exit out of RuneScape entirely, go back to G-Hub. Now that we're here, we go up here to Active Profile, click there. I've already done this, so it's gonna pop up right there, but I scroll over all the way, Add Gamer Application. If it doesn't pop up straight here to the same folder, then wherever it does, just open that, paste where we just were, hit enter, and it should pop up the same uh, screen. Click that, open it. Since I've already done that, I'm not going to right now, so I'm just gonna cancel out, but you'll hit open. And then all of a sudden, da 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 da, RS2 client. It's gonna open up your default. That's fine, we go back here, and you see that it's switched over. It'll ask you if you want to switch on, um, I think it's called automatic, or yeah, turn off persistent profile and you want this turned off. Because if it's persistent profile, then basically you have to use the one until you physically go back in here and change it. It's a pain in the ass. This way it allows you to automatically switch between profiles. So like, see it says RS232, now I'm on the desktop, boom. If I go back down here and I start up RuneScape again, it automatically switches back to the RS2 client. So, go in here and, uh, well, let's switch back to desktop really quick. But you go over here to the drop-down menu, you scroll down to the RS2 client. Um, I have it set up so that whenever it's on this profile, my mouse turns red, so that way I know for a fact it is on this profile. You can choose whatever color you want. Um, red, blue, I don't care, it doesn't really matter. It's just a personal preference. The assignments is what you want, though. You want to make sure that this is still RS2 client, and you want to say keys here. I have a really weird layout for mine. Uh, which is like seven, eight, and nine are my top row of mice keys here. You guys can do whatever you want. Whatever your personal favorite keybinds are, you just assign them here. So then, whenever you are playing RuneScape, it'll pop up. Like right now, my lights are cycling, but when I clicked RuneScape client, it changed red. So now I know that all of my hotkeys are where they should be. So I'm going to log in really quick. And uh, please don't copy my password. I know it's really secure right there, but whatever. So we're going to log in. And now you can see that in clan chat, when I type using my mouse keys instead of 1, 2, 3, it's now 7, 8, 9. KL equals backslash com, uh, semicolon, and then the two brackets with a blank button because that's how I have my mouse set up. Um, you guys can do it the same way. Um, you guys can choose whatever keybinds you want, but that is how you change your keybinds and get a RuneScape uh, profile on your mouse. Hope this helps.